What's up YouTube? This is Ultra Rai, and today I'm going to go over how we can... I'm going to start a series on like what you can do when you first pick up the game, and then improve from there, right? So a lot of people, when they're playing fighting games, they try to focus on too much at the beginning, right? Fighting games are complicated, and they'll go in there, and then they'll get their butt whooped, and then they'll end up quitting. And I know this because I used to do this all the time. Uh, I used to not stick with fighting games. I would buy the game. I'd play through the story or whatever. I would, uh, you know, play with my friends or whatever. Then I'd jump online, get my butt kicked, and I never wanted to learn or tried to learn. So I'd get frustrated, and then I would end up. And I feel like a lot of people quit fighting games because they are frustrating and there's a lot to take in but uh, hopefully this series will help you out and hopefully uh, you get some benefit from that so when you first pick up the game and you don't really know anything about the game right I suggest you play the story right I suggest you play the story and just uh, you know Get a little feel for, you know, the game or whatever. You're pretty much going to button mash your way through anyways. At least that's what I did. And then after you do the story, if you want to, uh, you're going to come down and you're always going to do the tutorial, right? As a beginning player, you're always going to do the tutorial just because it's going to show you the basic of movement. It's going to show you the basics of throws. It's going to show you how to do offense, defense. It's going to give you a little tutorial on frame data, which is important. It's going to talk about combos and pressure. And the thing about this is you don't need to understand all of these things completely, right? This is just so you go in, in the game and you understand what these things are and you have an idea of what they are, right? So after you go through the tutorial and you learn all this stuff, you're going to go down to challenges and it's going to give you combos for a specific characters, right? So let's say, uh, I suggest you try them all, but you just pick a combo, right? And it's just going to go through basic combos. Now, these combos aren't necessarily optimal combos, but it's going to give you an idea of what you can do with the character, right? It's going to give you an idea of what you can do with the character, and there's eight combos per person, so you can kind of see some of their moves and how they play, and then maybe you can get a feel uh, for which one you might like. Character-wise, some people say uh, you should pick an easier character. I personally believe that when you're learning fighting games, you should pick the character that uh, you think you're going to have the most fun with, right? Because if you pick a character based off of how difficult they are or how easy they are, you might be playing a character you don't enjoy, and then you're not going to enjoy the game as much. But if you do want to start with an easier character, right, you can. A Liu Kang is a good character to start with. A uh, Li Mei, I think she's a fantastic beginner character. So now that you went through uh, the tutorial, you played, you know, a single player content that you want, and you do the combos, now you might have an idea for who you might want to play, right? So from here, we're going to go to uh, practice mode. And you're just going to uh, pick what character you think you might enjoy, right? Let's say uh, Lee Mei, right? Let's say I want to play Lee Mei because I like her. I'll pick Lee Mei. Now, cameos is one of these things where this is there's a lot of optimal cameos, right? I think good starter cameos is Serena. Right? And I also think Sub-Zero is a great starting cameo. I don't think you can go wrong with either of those because they're simple to use. And you really don't have to think uh, when you're using them, right? So we're going to go with Sub-Zero. And I'm going to pick a stage. Now, this is where you can do one of two things. You can go back to the combo. The combo thing. And pick some of those combos to practice. Or... You can go to YouTube and find some combos for the character, right? Now, as a starting uh, starting out with the game, you don't need to be doing advanced combos, right? You don't need to be doing, you know...
You don't need to be doing stuff like that, right? As a beginner, like, you really just want to get around the 300 damage range, right? So... Right there. So for Lime, that is a perfect beginner combo. Because it does 300 and above, which means if I touch you three times, you're pretty much going to be dead. And I don't really have to think of this combo. And the thing is, it's the same combo route off of every single string. So no matter what I hit you with, right? It's the same combo route, and I'm pretty much going to get 300 to 350 damage. Now, you're going to practice this for a little bit. But you're not going to spend hours and hours practicing this, right? You're going to get this down, and then once you get that down, like, all right, you're going to use this combo for the foreseeable future, right? You're not going to do anything too crazy. You're just going to, when you get a hit, you're going to go into this combo, and you're going to land it. And you're going to jump online for the first time, and I promise you, you're going to drop it a thousand times, right? Just keep playing until you're doing it consistently, and then you can work on extending your combo, right? The reason I say Sub-Zero is a fantastic uh, cameo for you, because he has armor, right? And this makes it so projectiles go through you, which means you don't really have to deal with zoning, right? Uh, later on, uh, you're really going to want to learn how to deal with zoning, how to duck projectiles and stuff like that. But as a beginning player, right? That's one less thing you got to think about. You armor up, and now you're just focused on, you know, hitting your character, your opponent, and stuff like that. And you don't really have to worry about fireball. All right. So the main things I want you to learn about in training mode is, such say, you get a simple combo down, right? You've already done the tutorial. You've already done the combos. You know what character you want to play. Now you're going to focus on punishable moves, right? So... Most special moves in this game are punishable, right? Not all, but most special moves are punishable. But a punishable move is uh, you do something and that's so negative that your opponent gets a guaranteed punish, right? So if you look down in the bottom left corner, if I do this, I am minus 19 on block, which means that my opponent moves 19 frames faster than me. So, they're going to be able to punish me free. And I'm going to uh, show you that. All right. So, that is something. Hold up, let me put them on block. All right, so this is a move that Johnny Cage does, right? But it's the same thing, right? He does it, and he is... Eat this. He is minus 18 on block, right? Which means that this is a punishable move. Now, I have him blocking after, right? I have him blocking after he does this. Whee! So if I do my attack late, he's going to block it. But... So I get a free attack every single time, right? So you're going to go this. through and you're going to learn what's punishable and you're going to practice doing the combo that you learned off of these punishable moves, right? Now, you got to realize that different moves Whee! have different frame advantage. So go through the cast and at first I would just focus on special moves, right? At first I would not focus on strings. I would just focus on special moves. Uh, go to the move list. Go over to special moves. And then you can hit square. And it's going to pull up this advanced view, right? And on the right side, it's going to say block advantage, right? So anything that is minus 8 or more is a punishable move, right? So I would just go through this with the different characters and figure out what is punishable and what is not based off of their special move, right? Because a lot of people, especially when you're starting out, when you don't want to focus on too much things, and a lot of people can't hit confirm. 
levels, right? So if you're playing lower level players, right? They're not actually like doing a string and then if it's blocked, not doing the follow-up. A lot of times they're just doing that no matter what because that's what they're because they don't know. They don't know about hit confirming and stuff. So now you got a combo down, right? You got a basic combo down. You got you know what special strings are punishable. So if your opponents do that move, you can punish it. And then uh earn and anti-air, right? Because at low levels, people like to jump a lot, right? And you want to be able to anti-air them. Now, I suggest you just start off with down two, right? I suggest you just start off with down two because it's reliable, it's a good anti-air, and it's going to stop people from jumping on you. Like I said, at the beginning, you don't want to focus on too many things, right? And, obviously, learn the block button, right? Learn the block button and... Uh, just focus on, you know, when you feel like they're going to attack blocking, right? I don't think at the beginning it's so important to learn. Uh, you do need to understand that blocking a jump in, you got to block high, and then uh, lows, you got to block low, right? If it's an overhead, you got to block high. If it's a low, you got to block low. But at this point, just learning, I don't think that that's super important. That's something in the next video that I'm going to go over. So, what do we learn? You just picked up the game. You're confused. There's a lot going on, and you're not sure what to do, right? So, you're going to play the story if you want to, single-player content, right? You're going to do the tutorial, and you're going to do the combo trials. And then you're going to go into training mode uh, with the character that you might want to play, right? Mess around with them. Uh, figure it out. And then you're going to learn a simple combo. Like I said, the best combo is a combo that you can do off of any hit. And it's the same route, right? And that is because, like I said earlier, you don't have to think about it, right? You can just do it when you get a hit. And it doesn't matter what you get the hit off of. Once you land the hit, and then you're going to learn an anti-air to stop people jumping in. And you're going to learn what special moves are punishable. All right. And that is really all you should focus on at the beginning. Because you're building on fundamentals, right? And being able to punish moves is a fundamental. It's something that you're going to have to know how to do if you want to win. Um... And being able to anti-air is super important because it stops people from jumping in. Because if someone gets a jump in, they're plus, which means they get pressure. And you're working on a basic combo. Uh, so you're getting used to comboing, right? And just like I said, this is when you very first pick up the game. We're going to build off of these tips in the next video. So you're only going to be playing like this for maybe like, you know, a week or something like that. But... By the time we get to the next video, you're going to understand these three things, and then we'll be able to build off of that. I hope this video helps you, and uh, if you think I missed anything, please leave it in the comments, and uh, I'll probably post the next one in a couple days. I plan on releasing these videos pretty quickly, so I appreciate all the support that I've had. Please join the Discord server. We'll be starting our second tournament season in February when Crossplay released. And yeah, I appreciate it. And y'all have a fantastic day.